Hello. Muhammad loved to be worshipped by his companions, i.e. the Sahaba, and he showed his true colors as a true cult leader who created Islam 1400 years ago. Now, in every cult, we see that everything is about the cult leader, and everyone should obey him at all times without any objections. And if you object or insult the cult leader, you are allowed to be killed. And that's what we also see in Islam. And most cult leaders, like Muhammad, loved to have as many women as he could. And Muhammad had plenty of women and sex slaves. And today's video is evidence why everyone should stop calling the Muslims Muslims, but actually refer to them as Muhammadans. And here is why. As you see here, Muhammad is not a name, but a divine title. The name Muhammad, or the title, is shirk, the moment Muhammad took on that divine title. Muhammad wanted to be like Jesus, to be praised, the praised one, the anointed one, the God of the Christians, Jesus himself. So Muhammad took on this divine title, i.e. Muhammad. Muhammad's real name was actually Qathim, not Muhammad. And the proof is in Surah Al-Fatiha, chapter 1 of the Quran, ayah 2. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. All praise is to Allah. Did you catch it? All praise is to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. So all the praise should be to Allah. Goes back to Allah and not to Muhammad. So why did Muhammad take on the divine title of God himself? That's what the Muslims should ask themselves. But you see, Muslims don't think. They don't question Muhammad. And that's a disaster right there. Over and over in the Islamic sources, such as the Hadith and the Quran, we see crystal shocking proofs that Muhammad is the true God in Islam and not Allah. Now let us show you some verses from the Quran to back up our claim. And I want the sincere Muslims out there who are watching to start to use their brains and think for once in their lives. What does the Quran truly says about Muhammad? Is he the true God of Islam? Does the Quran contain verses or ayahs where we can see that Muhammad is the actual God of Islam? Let us show you some evidence. Let us see. Now if we go to chapter 46, ayah 31, we can read in the Arabic. يَا قَوْمَنَا أَجِيبُوا ذَاعِيَ اللَّهِ وَآمِنُوا بِهِ يَخْفِرْ لَكُمْ مِنْ ذُنُوبِكُمْ وَيُجِرْكُمْ مِنْ عَذَابٍ أَلِيمٍ Translation O our people, listen to Allah's caller, i.e. Muhammad, and accept faith in him, i.e. Muhammad, so that he may forgive your sins, i.e. Muhammad, and save you from the painful punishment. What? That's blasphemy. If you read it like that, that's crystal clear blasphemy. This proves that Muhammad actually is the real God of Islam, according to this ayah. Why? Here is why. The da'i, the caller, is Muhammad. Right? And you have to worship him because he is the one who is going to forgive your sins. Yaghfir lakum. He may forgive your sins. Who? Muhammad. And save you from the painful punishment, which is hellfire. Ya Muslimin, why are you such blasphemers? Why do you worship Muhammad? You always tell us that you do not worship Muhammad, but the ayah here is crystal clear in chapter 46, ayah 31. So who is the one who will forgive sins? Muhammad. يَغْفُرْ لَكُمْ مِنْ ذُنُوبِكُمْ Because he is the die. He is the caller. And you have to accept faith in that caller. You have to believe in the caller so that he will forgive your sins. Now some <laughs> Muslim scholars, some Muslim translators who are too embarrassed about the blasphemy in this ayah, they have to add Allah's name twice in the translation. But here, this translation is more accurate. They have to add the name Allah twice, right? Here, 
in this part here. So to make it sound as if it is Allah who is going to forgive sins. No, the Arabic is crystal clear. The one who is going to forgive sins, it's the Da'i. He is the Da'i of Allah. He is the caller of Allah. So it goes back to him. He is the one who is going to forgive sins. Ya Muslimin, since when does a mere man, as you claim that Muhammad is a mere man, since when can he forgive sins? Is he Allah? Yes. Clear, crystal clear evidence that Muhammad is the one who is going to forgive sins. He is the true God of Islam here. The proof is in front of you. This is not the only ayah. Let us show you another ayah back to back with this ayah to prove even more. Crystal clear proof that Muhammad is the real God of the Quran. Watch. If we go to chapter 48, Surah Al-Fatih, ayah 9, chapter 48 of the Quran, ayah 9, we can read. لِتُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَتُعَزِّرُهُ وَتُوَقِّرُهُ وَتُسَبِّحُهُ بُكْرَةً وَأَصِيلًا Meaning that you may believe in Allah and His Messenger, وَرَسُولِهِ And the last person is Muhammad, رَسُولِهِ, His Messenger And that you have to assist Muhammad in battle You have to honor Muhammad in, <laughs> You have to honor Muhammad And you have to glorify is an act of worship. Tasbih, subhan, tasbih is an act of worship. Glorify Muhammad every morning and evening. So that you may glorify Muhammad every morning and evening. Every Arabic speaking person like me knows when there's a last mentioned person in a sentence or an ayah like this, all the verbs that you see here, all the verbs go back to the Rasul. Because he's the last mentioned person. That's what they taught us at school. And actually the first verb already explains it away. Why it's about Muhammad. Because to assist Muhammad in battle. To assist him. Goes back to the Rasul. Not to Allah. Because Allah. He himself does not come to fight. It's Muhammad who used to fight with the Sahaba. And conquer tribes. In the Hijaz. In the Arabic Peninsula. Did you catch it? Allah does not enter his creation. Allah does not need assistance in battle. It's the Rasul who needs assistance, who needs help in battle. And actually, if we go to Tafsir al-Qurtubi for the Quran, for the same chapter, same ayah, chapter 48, ayah 9, by Tafsir al-Qurtubi, Tafsir al-Qurtubi, Ibn Abbas says, Tarjaman al-Quran, Hibr al-Ummah, the translator of the Quran, the Ibn Abbas, the ink of the Ummah, the Ibn Abbas said, and I quote, you fight with him with the sword. That's the meaning of assist him. وَتُعَزِّرُهُ Muhammad the Rasul. You see, so <laughs> the first verb already explains that it goes back to the Rasul. And you see, وَرَسُولِهِ You see, وَرَسُولِهِ وَتُعَزِّرُهُ وَتُوَقِّرُهُ وَتُسَبِّحُهُ بُكْرَةً وَأَصِيلًا so the glorification goes back to the Rasul. Glorify the Rasul, Muhammad. So we showed you from two different ayahs that Muhammad is actually the true God of the Quran, the true God of Islam. Muhammad as the cult leader who created Islam 1400 years ago wanted to be worshipped by his followers. And that's what in the end every cult leader wants. He wants to be worshipped and he wants to have as many women as he can in his bed, including many sex slaves. Muslims, please wake up. Guys, I want you to download this video and allow this video to go viral on social media so that many Muslims will wake up and be saved from this cult. Muslims, please leave Islam. Stop worshipping Muhammad, the true God of Islam. Thanks for watching, guys, and God bless.